twist, twist, twist with me. Twist, 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 twist with me. Twist, 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 twist with me. Now everybody freeze. One, two, three, stomp, 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 stomp. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Matthew chapter 27. When Jesus was on earth, many people followed him. He forgave sins and healed those who were sick. That's because he wasn't just any guy. He was God's own son. But that made some of the leaders very angry. They didn't believe that Jesus was really God's son. They thought that Jesus was making things up and causing trouble. So they had Jesus arrested and put up on a cross. This was a very bad punishment for the worst bad guys. But Jesus was a good guy and he didn't do anything wrong. Jesus' friends were very sad and very confused. They thought that he would one day become their king. They never imagined that Jesus would die, especially on a cross. After he died, Jesus' body was taken down from the cross and put in a tomb, which is a cave. A big rock was rolled in front of the entrance. It was too big for anyone to move. Soldiers were told to guard the tomb. They did everything they could to keep Jesus in the tomb, but <laughs> it wasn't enough. After three days, there was a big earthquake. The ground shook around the tomb where Jesus was. An angel appeared and rolled the big stone away. The guards were scared stiff. They couldn't do anything to stop it. When two women who were friends with Jesus came to the tomb to see where Jesus' body was, they found the angel there instead. The angel told them that they wouldn't find Jesus' body inside the tomb because he wasn't dead. He was alive. Jesus came back to life. The women ran to go tell the others. While they were on their way, they saw Jesus himself. It was true. He said hello and they fell at his feet because they were so happy. The women went to spread the news that Jesus is alive today and every day. Hello kids, I received a mysterious note from a cunning culprit telling us that they stole our great Easter egg. 
but we are not without hope. There is a series of clues and suspects that I believe will lead us to the culprit. Can you help us solve this mystery? Ah, well, this note from the culprit, it has a clue in it. Let's see what it says. I'm going to read it out loud. Clue number one says, you use me to type and rather quickly, I have letters and symbols and all the keys. What am I? Do you have any idea what it could be? You said a keyboard or a computer maybe? Ah, there is a note on the back. It says, find the suspect who specializes in computers and technology. I think that might lead us to Colonel Corbin. Let's go find him. Colonel Corbin, I know it was you. What was me? A minute, you stole the great Easter egg, didn't you? Nope, I don't have the energy or time for that. Oh, well, do you have any clue who did? No, but I guess I did find this clue on my desk this morning. Ooh, another clue. Hmm, I wonder about this next clue. It says, I am full of smell and lots of toys. The little ones have fun here, both the girls and the boys. I am a room in Bethel Church. What am I? Kids, would you know which room would have lots of smells and lots of toys for little ones? What do you think? The nursery, should we go there? I think you're right. Let's go check out the nursery and see if there's another clue for us in there. Okay, we're up here in the nursery. Let's look for the next clue. All right, could it be in these toys? No, I'm not seeing it, but that toy just made noise over here. Or do you see the clue, kids? Do you see it over here? <gasps> Aha! It's our next clue. Let's read what it says. It says, I am more than a shell. I am more than a nacho. I also have lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese, which makes me a... Uh, do you know what that would be? What has lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese? If you said taco, I believe you're right. And you know who loves tacos is Miss Beth. She will be our next suspect that we have to go interrogate. Miss Beth, I am currently investigating a disappearance. A disappearance? Who disappeared? I, should I be really worried right now? No, nobody disappeared, but we are missing our great Easter egg. And I know there's a culprit out there somewhere. Was it you? Me? It was not me. I'd never steal anything except maybe tacos. Yeah, makes sense. But I would never steal the great Easter egg. Well, do you know who did, or do you have any information to share? Hmm, let me think, let me think. Oh, I know! When I came in this morning, there was a rather curious note taped to the coffee machine. Does that mean anything to you? <gasps> yes, it's a clue. Thank you. Don't mention it, but feel free to pay me in tacos. Will do. I wonder about this next clue. Says, we learn about Jesus through small groups, the Bible, and games. It's always a blast and never the same. Which room in Bethel Church am I? Do you have any idea, kids, which room this could be? A place where you have small groups and games? I do believe you're correct. It's the elementary room downstairs. Let's go find the next clue. Okay, I think our clue is in here. Come help me find it, kids. <sighs> but where, oh where, could it be? Kids, do you see this clue anywhere? Can you let me know if you find it? Ah, you see something over on the Lego table? Our next clue. Oh, let's read it. 
think it's a note from our culprit. They say, the end is near and I'm almost found out. I lead the youth and I coach basketball, a game where I like to shout, do you know who I am? Kids, I need you to help me think of our list of suspects who our culprit could be. So we know it's not Colonel Corbin and it's not Miss Beth. So that leaves us with Mr. Max, Professor Pete, or Mr. Keith. Do you know which one it could be? Really? You think it could be him? If you said Professor Pete, you must be correct because he is the only one who coaches basketball and leads our youth. Let's go get him! Professor Pete, I can't believe it was you. What? You are the culprit of the great Easter egg. How could you? What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, it was me. I admit it, all right? But my intentions were good. I was trying to improve the egg, to make it the best it could be. Trying to make some little minor changes to it. Okay. Good intentions of mine. That makes sense. Thank you for wanting to help me out and our great Easter egg to make it as best as possible. But I will take that back now. What did you do to it? Well, you see all the different <gasps> oh, colors? Oh, it does look so much better. The great Easter egg. Thank you. So nice. Can I keep uh, it? I will just um, take that Aww. back now. We need it. Bye. Okay, enjoy the great Easter egg. Well, thank you kids for joining us and helping us to solve the mystery of the great Easter egg. I will say, I do love Easter, but Easter is more than just eggs and candy. We celebrate Easter because Jesus died and rose again for our sins. And that is the best news ever and totally worth celebrating. Well, keep watching now because there's more fun to be had. Hey kids, I'm here with my friend Balin the Easter Bunny and we're going to teach you this month's memory verse. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's learn it. So it's going to start out with he. He. Is not here. Is not here. Get down. He has risen! He has risen! And this is found in Luke 24. Luke 24. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. Six. Six. And we're gonna do this one more time just to one, make sure two, we all get it done. You ready? Oh. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. He. He. Is not here. He's not here. He has risen! He has risen! And where is this found? Luke, Luke 24. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. Six. Six. All right, that was good. Stay tuned for what's next. It's gonna go like this. He has risen! He has risen! This is on the... Oh yeah. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Oh, dang it! I was gonna say there's more fun to be had. Nope, I don't have the energy or time for that. What do you have to say for yourself? Am I admitting it right away? Mm-hmm. Even though he didn't, <laughs> didn't even give me reasons why you know it's me? You just want me to just say, okay, okay, admit it yeah. right away? Yeah. Okay. Make coffee, there was a rather curious note co- <laughs> Let me try again. Uh, no, but I guess I did find this clue on my desk this morning. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.